Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love. We're going to take it as it comes. And whatever comes out, comes out. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. If you have Capricorn in any of those placements, please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Um, could be past, present, future. Could be something going on with someone around you. Could be affecting you in some way or something like that. So please keep that in mind. All right. So Capricorn at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links to your general and love playlist are in the description box, as well as decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, to send a gift, tip, donate, all that's below, and I'll pin some of that to the top comment. Okay, Capricorn. And welcome everybody, hope everybody's doing well. I just want to apologize for these readings being late as I was very sick this past week with the flu. Held me up for an entire week. I couldn't even go to my full-time job. And now I'm feeling better. I do have a little bit of a cough still. So I may cough a little bit throughout the reading. And I just want to apologize uh, um, in advance for that. Okay, so Capricorn. This is Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign element planet. Let's see what we get for you. Feeling that one. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. We have Cancer. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer in some way, shape, or form. Or maybe you have cancer in your chart. You know somebody has cancer in their chart. All right. So it could be, you know, friend, family, co-worker, lover. It could be anybody. This is general. So it could be anybody, anybody around you. And if you're not dealing with a cancer, totally fine. All right. So let's see what's going on with um, Capricorn. I'm going to get an opening message for you. And then we'll pull one for your energy. It will clarify with tarot. Um, I'm going to take the top one. Your energy. Okay. Top one there and that one there. All right. Okay. So let's see. Wow. This one's been coming out in like almost every reading. We have fear again. Wow. Bilby. <laughs> this is coming out in almost every single reading. Oy. I don't know. Is it something with the full moon? I don't know. It is the ninth, so it's a Leo full moon. And then we have a rebirth with the bat, number nine. So nine is almost at the completion because nine comes ten, comes one, the new beginning. It's a sort of rebirth here, but there's some sort of fear attached to this. And then we have personal protection. This has been coming up a lot also in all the readings. So this personal protection, and we have 44. Four is about your stability, foundation, your basis. But eight is also the number of travel, action, communication. But this personal protection means in the book, being overprotective of yourself, on guard too much, not letting your guard down, run other people, um, maybe becoming very um, reclusive kind of energy. Some kind of rebirth here. I just want to read... Um, what rebirth is number nine let's see if there's a message here for you let's see do, do, do be prepared to consciously face all your emotional issues and to remove the obstacles that are preventing your life from flowing smoothly you must be prepared to cut out any dead wood and to remove the garbage if you are ever encouraged if you are ever to encourage new growth. Hmm. So I think for some of you, for your own personal protection, this is how I'm reading it, for your own sanity and peace of mind, you may need to have a rebirth and cut away things, people, places, things, situations no longer serving you, but there's a fear of doing that. This is becoming out a big, big topic in uh, the readings lately, so... Let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel. Thank you, thank you. All my new subscribers, those tip donated, reached out for personal reading, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. Couldn't do it without you guys. And we just reached over 10,000 uh, subscribers. So I am planning a free reading giveaway along with a uh, free tarot deck. 
So I am behind though on my readings and I'm trying to catch up. So by the end of the month, I plan to somehow uh, incorporate that uh, announcement into the readings. Okay, so what do we have here? Princess of Wands, so it's the Page of Wands. It's a communication. Five of Pentacles is about loneliness, not loneliness, but abandonment, being left out in the cold. So I feel like this Princess of Wands, Page of Wands can be very passionate communication or it can be about bringing news, bearer of news. Sometimes it's good news, usually. But with this Five of Pentacles, I think with this, this just came out, I think, for um, Aquarius. So um, you may be sending news to people, places, things, situations, and telling them, um, you know what, I need to elimin eliminate you from my life or something like that. Because the Five of Pentacles is about abandonment, being left out in the cold. So leaving that energy out in the cold. And communicating that. Wow, okay. Capricorn. It's for your own protection or your own sanity. Uh, you may have a fear of doing that, but probably needs to be done. Justice. Yeah, you need justice in your life. Doing what's moral, just, and right for you. Bring balance back into your life. And that is also communication. Balancing out the scales. Eight of Pentacles, so you can invest in yourself, work on yourself. Maybe you're giving too much to other people, situations around you. And it's now time to invest in you and yourself. Nine To the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, Eight and Nine of Pentacles. So being independent, good on your own, you can take care of yourself. You're sufficient. You, you know, you have your abundance. Four of Swords. So this is rest, rejuvenation contemplating you know maybe you're thinking about how do I do this or you know you do it and then maybe you you fear doing it but you do it and then you feel guilty so here's the energy of you know going and resting recuperating thinking contemplating kind of energy healing kind of energy over this you know maybe it hurt you that you had to do it but you know I think it may be necessary for your own um, growth and, and independence Three of Pentacles, though. So this is about, you know, learning something new, mastering a craft, working well with others. You know, this could be a work situation, people that you work with. So now we have the Prince of Cups. I do believe it's the Knight of Cups. So taking action in a loving, compassionate, peaceful energy. Three of Wands, though, is a period of waiting. Waiting. So I feel like... You waited to do this for a long time, but kept putting it off, putting it off. Like, I'm ready to do it now, serve myself justice in my life. And then you almost get there and then you stop with that Four of Swords energy. But now you're at the point where I'm ready to do this, the Three of Pentacles energy, to move forward in loving, compassionate energy. But yet, yeah, here's that energy of waiting. And now we have the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So two knights on each side, both kind of slow. So slow work in progress here. Nine of Wands. So being defensive and on guard and like the wounded warrior, the tatted soldier. But you keep going on, going on. As much as you feel conflicted and wounded. You know, maybe you've been through the ringer here in this situation, whatever it is for you. It could be work. It could be anything here. You feel like you've been through the ringer, but you keep waiting and waiting and stalling. And once you start to move, you know, you kind of come to a stall again. You get like, we got three, three. Aye. So there's a need here to do this, but you're bearing it so much that you kind of stop in your tracks each time I feel and you just feel worn out, beat, tired. See what your advice is. Six of Wands. Yeah, you need to get the success, victory, accomplishment that you need. So that is the card of success. The tower. Yeah, you need to cause some tower moments here. As much as you're fearing it, as much as you don't want to do it, it's here. 
to bring in your peace of mind, your, your sanity, your accomplishment, your success, you have to cause these tower moments. You have to use that sword. Cut away things no longer serving you. Yeah, fear, stress, worry, anxiety here. Even though you have fear, stress, worry, anxiety over doing this, but you can still do it with Page of Cups here in a loving, compassionate energy, an understanding kind of energy as much as you can. It may cause tower moments anyway, but it has to happen. So Spirit saying, even though you're stressed and you're nervous about this, you could still do it in a loving, compassionate energy, peaceful energy, even though it still may cause a tower moment. But you still have success on your side, victory. So let's see what your possible outcome will be here. So now we have another Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords, rushing in, taking action, truthful communication. Seven of Swords. So somebody may do something here stupid that may like stab you in the back. They may do something out of the blue and do something that is like totally not right. Kind of like stabbing you in the back. Now we have the Four of Wands here energy, which, you know, Four of Wands is about stability in your home, your basis, your foundation, ceremonies, celebrations. Oh. I don't know. I just feel like somebody may do something here with the Seven of Swords, which may cause you to rush in out of the blue and just like be like out of control and just like eliminate anything no longer serving you. And then you're going to be much more stable as the outcome here, the Four of Wands, in your home life, in your personal life, in your work life. I think it's going to take for you to act on this and do what you need to do, somebody to do something random out of the blue that's disre disrespectful, that's um, not a good energy, to finally step up to the plate and you're almost like going to go out of control and just use that sword and just bam, 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 and done. And there you back and you're very stable here with the four of ones. It's kind of... <laughs> I wouldn't like to see it to get to that energy if you could get out of the stuck energy of fear and just do what you need to do. But I think it's going to take a tower moment of somebody doing something uncalled for or something that they shouldn't be doing to make you do what you need to do. That will lead to your stability back in your life. Oh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Prince of Wands. A lot of action here. We have all these knight action here prince of wands the knight of wands it's a go-getter kind of energy they go after what they want a lot of drive ambition they're not afraid to do it they're not afraid to end things that are no longer serving them the hierophant doing what's moral just and right value uh structure kind of energy but juggling things around with the two of pentacles being too caring nurturing giving loving kind of energy you know, maybe having too much sympathy, empathy towards people. Um, you know, confusion with the Seven of Cups. But ultimately, things have to end here with the Ten of Wands. Things have to end here with the Ten of Wands. Even though there's confusion, maybe being oversensitive, too empathetic, compassionate towards people. Juggling too much around. The energy even though you know the right thing to do is to end situations and taking that action to do so. Okay, Capricorn, we have Leo Sag Aries. We have Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's see. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh... I don't remember what we have here. Aries or Aries or Scorpio. Some say Scorpio. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see. Libra. Leo, Sagittarius. And I'm making a mess of my cards here, but. 
All right, so let's get some closing messages for you here, Capricorn. And I do ask Capricorn, or if you're new, you like my style, how I read. You can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the bell. All right, Capricorn, let's get some closing messages for you. Divine passion, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So, yeah, you need to be honest with yourself here in this situation. You know, what your heart really wants you to do, you need to do. But I think there's too much fear, stress, anxiety. Okay. You may let people guilt you. <laughs> quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yep. Deciding what you need to do here. Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Knowing you have the inner goddess to do what you need to do. Let's get one more. Sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Message for some. And on the bottom, Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So... It'd be a miracle, but I think you can do what you need to do. Okay, Capricorn, good, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.